Hey guys, we're here on Smith Mountain Lake. It is mid-November. The water temperature is still 58, 59 degrees. Fishing conditions are perfect, overcast. And what I want to talk today about is fishing jigs in the fall. What I like to do, I like to throw a football jig in either a half ounce or three quarter ounce. The, the wind and your depth really dictates that. Obviously the deeper you're fishing, the heavier jig you want to use. I like various colors, but on a day like today I like a dark color. Kind of match the sky. If it's dark outside, use a dark color. If you got high bluebird skies, maybe use something a little more green pumpkinish or my favorite peanut butter and jelly in really clear water. But what I like to do with my trailer on a big three-quarter ounce jig, I like to use a Missile Baits D-Bomb. It's a little bigger profile bait, and this time of year, that's fine. These fish are hungry, they're feeding up for the winter time, and they don't mind that big bulky presentation. So what I'll do, I'll take my scissors and I'll clip off about a third of it, and you just take it and thread it on. Now, one thing that's very very important that not many people do before you thread it all the way on you want to take a little super glue and put it right there and then push it on and what that does is that keeps that bait from sliding down the hook when you set the hook you don't want this trailer to move and by super gluing it Number one, it's going to stay in place. It's going to keep you from losing fish. And number two, it's going to make this trailer last all day long. One trailer will la easily last you 15, 20 fish. So that's one thing I like to do on a three-quarter ounce jig. Now, <clears throat> if I'm swimming a jig through some grass, um, again, grass this time of year can be really good. They'll get grouped up in it. And if you can find some scatter grass, I like to throw a little smaller jig. This is a little 5 16 ounce kind of finesse. It's a booyah jig. And I like to put the Missile Baits Twin Turbo on the back. This bait has incredible action. You just throw it out there, slowly reel it in, and jiggle your rod a little bit. Uh, and this is what I like to use as, as, a, uh, as a swim jig. If the fish are a little more finicky, uh, let's say you got a cold front that's come through, or you got some high bluebird skies, and the bite's tough, I'll, I'll use that same jig, 5 16 or 3 16 ounce, and I'll take a, a Missile Baits Baby D-Bomb. Uh, this is a brand new bait, came out in 2013. Um, this is the deal. And again, I'll, I'll cut off about a third of the head, and I'll thread it on the same way. And the reason I like this bait over uh, some other trailers is that when you throw it out there, this bait is going to have an incredibly slow fall. See, it's, it's got a, a nice, small, compact profile. Because you're throwing a flat body bait like this, you can skip it up under docks 20, 30 feet. It's a great skipping bait, and it falls really slow. So for those fish that are highly pressured or maybe not in the mood to bite something really fast moving or fast falling, I like this little three-quarter ounce bait or excuse me, 5 sixteenths. So if you'll try these next time you're fishing, I think it'll help you catch some more fish. I'm tired. 